Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition, has finally been announced. Now, if you've been following me on Twitter for a while, you know I've been talking about this for close to a year, and it's good that it's finally been announced, and we just got a short teaser and some information, but I'm going to go over it all today, and, you know, this game was originally meant to come out in October, and, you know, everything going on in the world right now, it was pushed back, which is understandable, but the game is coming out in spring, so hopefully we won't have that long to wait, but let's get into the details. Mass Effect The Legendary Edition contains all three games, all DLC and all expansions. This includes all the promotional material when it comes to the DLC, such as weapons and the robot pet from Mass Effect 2. Basically everything you could have got from a pre-order in 2007, 2010, 2012 will be included. And with all the expansions, that's a lot of content. That is over 150 hours worth of Mass Effect sci-fi awesomeness. And if you've never played them before, oof, you're in for a treat. But what are they including in this when it comes to upgrades? So, higher resolutions, 4K, higher frames per second, higher detail, enhanced texture work, better lighting, and overall, just a clearer image in a just a clean look because again Mass Effect came out in 2007 they're going to do the most work to this game especially when it comes to gameplay and mechanics because what people don't realize is, is that this game this trilogy this isn't just a game that's going to be made for people like me made for people listening like you who've played the trilogy Tons of times, you love it, and you're going to buy it regardless. This is aimed at people who've never played it, because this trilogy, and it will sell well, is going to set up a new fan base, a wider fan base, for the next Mass Effect game. And Bioware did mention that they are hard at work on the next Mass Effect game, which I've been looking into for a while now, and I'll be talking about in a future video. But it's exciting because, again... New Mass Effect coming, we won't be having an Andromeda situation this time. And when it comes to this trilogy, again, when it comes to texture work. Texture work is one of the things that people have been wanting fixed in these games for a long time. And it will be. Now, enhancements. So like I said, 4K and higher frames per second. And all that increased texture work on the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro, that'll all be there. But they are doing enhancements for the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Now, they did say these will work through backwards compatibility with targeted enhancements. So with the extra time they are having with the development into 2021, I, su I had suspicions that they would actually, you know, put some next gen, you know, touches on these games. And it makes sense. You know, they'll have the new hardware out for a while by then, and it just makes sense at the end of the day. But again, these games will be running at the best possible form ever. These will be available on PC as well. This isn't just a port. There's a lot of hard work going this trilogy. And again, it's one of the best sci-fi trilogies ever made. Each sci-fi RPG in that trilogy is just its own different experience. And frankly, if you've never played these games, I say it's a must play. And again, with all the small DLC stuff and the expansions, it's gonna be the perfect package to jump into. And with next gen as well, like these games are gonna look good on current generation, but on next generation, these games will look absolutely amazing. And again, these games will look a hell of a lot better than what we have now. Now, when it comes to Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, they didn't mention it, but as it's been rumored before, they're not including it, which is a shame. But, here's some caveats. If the game sells well, I think they will put in the multiplayer. Because that's more free money. And it's just a good multiplayer mode. Another thing is, is that when it comes to the multiplayer, and with Xbox Game Pass getting EA access, people will have access to Mass Effect 3's multiplayer through that service. So I recommend people play it. It will be, 
it's still alive. The servers are still alive. You know, I was playing last week. But again, exciting times ahead for Mass Effect fans. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to. And again, a trilogy of sweet games. Lots of nostalgia in a new game on the way, which I'll talk about and I have some information on. But again, good Mass Effect day. It's a good N7 day. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Certain social media helps the channel out. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before Christmas. And if you know about the stuff I mentioned on Twitter before, that, you know, things in my personal life made me unable to upload, like, my more consistent schedule. But again, I'm back at it now. And the Mass Effect content isn't going to be as regular as it used to be because I'm an Xbox content creator. But when there's Mass Effect stuff, I will talk about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, do all that stuff. I'm out. I hope everyone has a good day. And yeah, happy N7 day.